the latest development on security clearances at the White House is that John Kelly, the chief of staff, has issued a memo to White House staff advising that there are going to be new procedures for awarding security clearances and trying to get a handle on the number of people who in the White House have what are called interim clearances but don't actually have final clearances yet. As we've reported, there are dozens of such people. So if you have been hanging around the White House for seven or so months waiting for your final clearance to come through, but you've been operating with this interim clearance, according to this memo, that's going to go away, which should reduce the number of people who have clearances right now. Jared Kushner would definitely be the most high-profile person to have an interim clearance. As we're reporting, he has one that gives him access to top secret, but also something called sensitive compartmented information. So you think of like top, there is secret, then there's top secret, and then there's a level above that, which is what Jared Kushner has. And he can get access to things like the president's daily intelligence briefing and other information on a case-by-case -case basis. It's really unusual for a senior White House official to have that high of a temporary or interim clearance. We don't know for sure why it's taken this long for the FP guy to finish Kushner's background check, but the most obvious issue stems from both his extensive financial dealings and his contact with foreign individuals, which is something that you have to disclose in minute detail when you're applying for a security clearance. People who've been through this process before talk about it being this incredibly arduous undertaking where you've got to think back and remember many of the foreign people that you maybe interacted with or certainly the ones you did business with. Jared Kushner has not fully disclosed all of that information. When he initially filed a security application, uh, clearance application, he didn't disclose all of these foreign contacts. And he's amended or updated that application three different times. And we know from our reporting that beginning last summer, White House officials began talking about their concerns that his lack of being complete and thorough on that application could in fact impede his ability to get a final clearance. Jared Kushner certainly has been uh, under investigation or has had his background investigation pending since June 2017 and before. These new rules would say that Jared Kushner's interim clearance is going to be revoked uh, a week from Friday, so we'll have to wait and see if that happens. Uh, but certainly uh, it seems like this whole issue of him working on an interim clearance is really coming to a head and getting addressed now.